eight weeks pregnant. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Noel and today is my eight week pregnancy vlog. So it is week eight and baby is the size of a raspberry. I just love these little berry fruit comparisons. It's so cute. Um, as of now, my due date is still September 17th based on my calculations. And I'm super excited because my first OB appointment is on Monday. So it is the major countdown. I will be eight weeks and four days at that appointment and I have no idea what they're gonna do. So it's gonna be interesting, but um, definitely look for next week and update that includes all of that good stuff. My symptoms this week are pretty much the same as what they have been, just super exhausted all the time. I cannot stand up or do a lot of things um, for very long without having to lie down. If I do start doing things, like trying to do some laundry, I will get out of breath really, really quickly. Um, and same right now, whew, um, and I have to lie down. So I'm just trying to take it easy and get as much help as I can and just do the absolute basics. Um, other than that, still having crazy dreams. Interestingly, I've watched a lot of other people talk about their like pregnancy related dreams or birth related dreams. As far as I know, I haven't had anything like that. They've just been really weird dreams and I don't normally remember my dreams. So that's why it's so strange to me. Um, I, a couple things that I haven't mentioned in past weeks um, that have kind of come this week are patches of dry, itchy skin. And they're usually in the same places like on my ankles, my feet, a couple places on my arms. Um, they've been on and off in the last couple weeks, but this week they've really started like getting super red and dry. And I don't know if it's pregnancy related. It might just be winter dry skin, uh, but it's kind of strange. And so I'm trying to use lotion and um, putting a little bit of lavender oil on there a little bit. And I don't know. I'm also very dehydrated. I, for a while there, I could not drink water. Anytime I would drink liquid other than like ginger ale, I just, I couldn't get it down. Um, it would make me feel all nauseous and um, I need to drink more water because I think that's increasing my feelings of exhaustion and grossness. And I know they're gonna take a whole bunch of blood on Monday, so I need to drink more water. Um, but I am feeling a little bit like it'll stay down like if I as long as I have eaten and I wait a little while I can get a few sips down um, I still can't chug a whole thing of water like I want to but I need to get better at that for sure um I've also been having some tooth sensitivity and you know I've had this in the past and so I don't know I, I think it started when I started having morning sickness and started drinking ginger ale all day long and drinking and eating little candies and stuff so probably the increase in sugar is the reason for that. Um, I can like literally fill the cavities for me. It's disgusting. Um, but what are you going to do? Um, and then of course the morning sickness. Yes, the morning sickness is still here. I'm still very nauseous um, all throughout the night and early morning. And then throughout the morning until I have enough food in me. And then I'm somewhat okay in the afternoons and evenings. I do have bouts of nausea, but it's it's not quite as bad. Um, I did throw up one more time, and I was wearing my C-bands, um, but it was right in the morning, right after I had eaten crackers, and I hadn't got a lot of sleep the night before, and I think I was just, just, it was going to happen no matter what. So that wasn't fun, but oh well. Um, my emotions are a little bit more stable this week. I'm, I guess, kind of getting used to just kind of lying around and being not productive, which I hate, but at the same time, I'm trying to get up and do things for a few minutes and then, you know, take a rest. And so I am getting a little bit more done and I feel a little bit more like I'm actually doing some work, but it's just kind of a... A back and forth thing. Um, I am still somewhat emotional as my husband was showing me some of the Super Bowl commercials. Um, we don't have TV so we were watching it online and oh my gosh the um, the Dove Daddy commercial I was bawling and then the Clydesdales with the little puppy that was lost oh my gosh I was just in tears and he looks at me like 
what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm just emotional. <laughs> Uh, weight gain and loss. I have lost one more pound this week. <sighs> I, I honestly have not seen these numbers on the scale in years, so it's just weird, weird to see so much weight lost, even though it's not actually that much. Um, cravings and aversions. I've craved chicken a little bit this week, not like last week. Um, kind of once I got my wing stop fill, I was better with that, but I am still trying to eat some chicken just to get some protein in me and aversions are just pretty much everything. Just food is just still pretty disgusting and it comes to dinner time every night and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't know what to cook, I don't want to cook anything, I don't want to eat anything, I just, I just don't want food. It's just gross. So that's that. <laughs> um, essential oils I've used this week, I made some bath salts. Um, I had previously made some bath salts with the Young Living blend Stress Away, but Stress Away is not, it's, it's supposed to be used with caution in pregnancy. And so I did take a bath a couple weeks ago, um, maybe it was even, I think it was two weeks ago, um, using the last of that container that I had made with the Stress Away. And then I decided to remake one with Peace and Calming because Peace and Calming is considered generally safe during, pre um, during pregnancy. So I did take a Peace and Calming bath, you know, warm, not too hot, and it was wonderful. And I think that's something I'm going to try to do every week is just take one relaxing bath and just, whether it's lavender or Peace and Calming, and just breathe. Um, because I just, I am a very high stress person even when I'm not like doing anything, I'm just sitting at home stressing out. So it's helpful. I've also started using Peace and Calming on my feet again before bed. I used to use this every night before I was pregnant and then when I found out I was pregnant I stopped using it and this week I've started using it again because I'm just not getting restful sleep and this really really does help quite a bit. I am still sniffing um, my peppermint oil a little bit here and there for helping with the tummy and also with car sickness. I have noticed that the nausea really picks up when I'm a passenger in a car. Ugh. So, yeah, that's another fun symptom. Um, preparations for baby, not too much, but I did want to mention the two books that I am reading. Um, I am reading What to Expect When You're Expecting. This is a, let's see, very, very old edition. Um, this is, well, it's the 1991 reprint and I got both of these books at a um, library used book sale for like a buck each so I'm reading the old version it's okay it hasn't been super helpful so far but I'm reading it anyway um, this one is fun though this is the um, your pregnancy week by week by Glade B Curtis Curtis and it just goes through every week of pregnancy and so I'm just kind of reading each week as I go and it's kind of a nifty book, so I'm um, enjoying that. I also wanted to share the apps that I'm using. I am using the Bump app, um, the Baby Center app, and the What to Expect app. Um, if you have any other apps that you love during pregnancy, please let me know in the comments. I would love to check those out. Um, these are just the main three ones, the little community boards that I'm a part of and stuff, so those are the only ones I've checked out so far. Um, for baby buys, the only thing this week was actually a gift from a friend of mine, and it is the Arbonne Baby Care Hair and Body Wash Solution. Um, and, you know, I'm not a big fan of baby products like this, um, especially baby washes, Johnson & Johnson, boo! Um, <laughs> But I am somewhat okay with this. Arbonne does have European standards, so I know that the ingredients in here aren't quite as bad as the ones that are allowed in the U.S. Um, and it is, is fairly good ingredients. Now, I won't necessarily want to use this a lot, especially on a newborn. However, some hospitals I know do require that you bathe your infant, and if they have Johnson & Johnson, I would much rather they use this if that's allowed. I'm not sure exactly what my hospital is going to do, but 
Um, it's also supposed to be good for bubble bath for older kids. I loved bubble bath as a child and I am definitely not giving them commercial bubble baths. So I did want this on hand just, just to use here and there. And then the two other things that have been an absolute lifesaver for me, literally, um, are the Lifesavers Mints Peppo Mint. These are just the little peppermint suckers. I love these. They are so calming on the tummy. I just suck on them all throughout the day, especially when I'm in the car or when I'm sitting in a meeting or something. So helpful. I absolutely love them. And then I also found these um, ginger chews from Ginger People at Trader Joe's. And these are actually really good. I was very scared to try them. They're chewy and they're these little rectangles. So I actually cut them in half and then I just suck on that little piece um, until it's dissolved instead of chewing it. But they're, they're kind of a sweeter, hotter type of ginger, not salty like some of the other crystallized gingers that I've gotten and can't eat right now. Um, so this one is pretty good and I'm really enjoying that. And that's pretty much it for eight weeks. Um, I'm very excited to finally get to this mark of eight weeks because it's kind of like the first milestone of many. Um, you know, I've survived a month of knowing. And yeah, it's just really exciting to kind of get the milestones going. So uh, my belly is the same as it has been the last few weeks, um, but I will show it to you real quickly anyway. It's just, you know, a little pooch, but not really anything special. That's it. So that's all for my week eight update. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to let me know if you had any books or apps that were super helpful for you during your pregnancy. Um, let me know those in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, I still don't think even a beginning two-year-old would really be ready for this. this is